Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and I love mascara. I honestly feel like mascara and brows literally can make or break any kind of look. Um, I also think that if you just wear mascara, even if you wear no makeup at all, it just makes you look just, you know, bright eyed and bushy tailed, wide awake. Um, today is going to be very short, very sweet. Um, excuse the look, I'm also doing another <laughs> video right now. but. Um, as you guys all know, if you watch me consistently, I have probably 10 to 12 different mascaras that I've literally never tried because I'm always using Too Faced better than sex. Um, and the few that I have tried in the past, I just did not like. I have tried everything from like the NARS to, you name it, the Kush mascara, everything. Um, so today is going to be kind of a mascara off, mascara face off, if you will. I'm going to be trying the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I've never tried it, have not even opened this yet. And also the new Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Um, I would like to come back to this and maybe do um, like a wear test. It is already, I don't really know, so hold on a second. <laughs> If my thing would let me know what time it is, you guys, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Technical difficulties, you guys. I'm very sorry. Okay, well, apparently it's not telling me what time it is and it's making me get mad. It is 7.32 p.m. So I will do as much of a kind of come back and tell you like wear test or whatever. Um, I'll do as much as I can with it being 7.30. Um, I'll probably keep this on to at least 11 or 12. This is basically kind of a first impressions type thing. I know what I'm looking for. I know what I like in a mascara and I'm pretty fucking picky about them. So I'm gonna be very brutally honest. Um, keep my eye looking. I'm just saying it's beautiful. So I think I'm gonna try the, this one over here, the Thrive, because this is kind of my more wow look and supposedly this is supposed to make you have wow lashes. Let's hope. Um, and then I will do this heart on this side. Again, I have not opened either one of these. So yeah, wish me luck. I do like this packaging though. As you can tell, I love hot pink. <laughs> I always tap my mascaras. Keep in mind um, that if you keep pushing your product in, like people that pump their wands and stuff, please don't do that. Um, all you're doing is adding extra air and you're gonna end up harboring more bacteria a lot quicker. So be really careful. Um, if anything, take your wand and kind of twist it inside and then gently pull it out. So I actually really like this wand. It also almost reminds me of the Better Than Sex wand. And y'all know mama's blind. So let me get a little mirror up close <laughs> and personal. <laughs> So I am going to do two standard coats like I normally do with my Better Than Sex or my Damn Girl. Um, already I can tell you it's very dry. I may go back in and just pick up some more. Maybe that was me. Maybe I didn't get enough on the brush upon initial application. Um, I like the brush a whole lot. Also another FYI, if you really love a mascara wand, the brush in it, you can always buy a different mascara, you guys, buy any mascara, and then use the wand in whatever mascara that you really prefer. You don't have to go and spend $30 on a mascara. Just saying. Um, so I'm gonna try to build this up some. Yeah. It's pretty, but I feel like it's really dry. I don't know if that's just me or what, and this is not something that I've been holding on to for a while. I just got this one, so. That kind of concerns me. I don't really like a dry mascara. It is pretty. It is giving me a little bit of like lift, but it's not really doing much else. It's not as black as I would like it to be. So, hmm. yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll do some on the bottom. It looks really pretty on my bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go back in for one more little thing. I mean, I don't like like a super, super wet mascara where it's like going everywhere, but this is really dry. And I definitely don't feel like it's really black. Oh shit, I got some on my face. <laughs> yeah, um, I like it upon first application. Sorry. Um, but this dry, if you ever get mascara on you anywhere, wait for it to completely dry and you can literally flake it off with a little Q-tip. So, um, 
Hopefully this one's a little bit better. Hopefully y'all ain't been lying to mama. Is it sealed, sealed? Huh? Okay. I've heard wonderful things about Thrive Cosmetics. That is heavy. That feels amazing. Very substantial. It actually feels like metal. I'm not quite sure what this is. This feels plasticky to me, but this feels incredible. Wow. Okay. So again, I tap it just to kind of loosen up any product that's inside. And I'm going to bring it out, take a look at, oh, I don't really like wands like this too much. I always use wands like this for like my first mascara because I normally use two to three mascaras. So again, I'm just going to kind of swirl it around, get enough products on it. Um, again, it doesn't seem too wet. <laughs> oh Lord, y'all, I'm scared. It's definitely blacker than the other one. Faux show. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> it smells kind of strong. I don't really like the scent of it. Um, it is getting really nicely into the little teeny tiny inner corner lashes here. It definitely seems a lot blacker. I don't notice upon the first coat that it is really doing much though. Um, it's definitely blackening them. Uh, we'll see. Going back in. Swirl it around a little bit. Hopefully y'all could see me when I was doing that. My apologies. Um, trying to put a second coat on here is already getting clumpy. Okay, all I can say is it's pretty black. But my lashes are looking terrible. I don't like this at all. Well, hopefully this just did not mess up my look because I've not taken pictures of this look yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just giving me like spider lashes. I don't like this at all. Mm, yeah, even on the bottom, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Damn. Maybe we'll try a different wand and use the formula and see how the formula is because it is very, I mean, you can see the difference in how black this looks in comparison to the other one. Um, it did give it a little bit of length, but I feel like, you know, both of them lengthwise, they pretty much look about the same. This one at least gave me a little bit of curl, like a little bit of lift. Um, this one looks very spidery. I don't like it at all. Let me get extra super duper close and show you guys like up close, up close. So you can see the difference. Yeah, um, this one is okay. I think if I used another one of like my other mascaras that I really like to use first and then put that on top, I can maybe get the volume and stuff that I like. Um, but this, I just do not like it at all. It is just really clumpy. I do love the fact that it's you know, like uber black. Um, aside from that, I don't like it. So I'm going to show you guys also my trick for getting this off. I always keep these little beauty Q-tips here that has a pointed end and a blunt end. And I literally, if I get mascara anywhere, you can literally take it and don't rub across your skin. You're just going to roll the Q-tip. So I'm literally going to roll it right here and it's gone. I'm going to get close so you can see. I'm literally rolling it across. And it comes right off. So, um, yeah. I guess since I already have makeup on my face, I will keep this on until tonight when I wash my face off. As of right now, I honestly am going to have to say that I actually prefer this one. Even though I don't like it and I kind of hate it. Um, it's better than this one. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let me, let me let me inspect. Let me get real close. Yeah, I don't like this. I do not like that at all. And even though this one didn't give me as much as I would like, and as much as I feel like I get from like Better Than Sex or the Damn Girl mascara, um, or even like the Monsieur Big, that's a phenomenal mascara as well. Um, the Lancome, shit, what is it called? If I remember it, I will link it when I do this. Um, but that one's really good as well. Uh. Yeah, again, I'll try to keep it on for a couple hours at least and come and show you guys, you know, if it's lifted, if it stays the way that it is. I love the blackness of this one, but um, honey child, no, that looks very spidery. I do not like that at all. And this one's just okay. So I'm a little disappointed in both. 
sorry guys <laughs> um if you like this video at all um and if you've tried these let me know what your experience has been with them i would love to know but if you like this video at all then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you'll tap that notification bell i'd be even more grateful and thankful and please always remember to be your own best beautiful bye beauties